Hey guys, so this is the last section of of this app that we're building. We've actually came a long way um, going through all the stuff that we did. So in this section, I am going to make this view, turn the cost only three per row, and then have a button below where you click, you show more. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're, gonna, so we're going to create our button first so let's let's um create a button so let's import the css index.csx next let's create button And we can export this, export default button. And our button is going to take text, an ID, and an action. Okay, question. We don't, we need to explain, we need to tell TypeScript what are these things. Button is also a regular JSX. We don't have to put JSX all the time. It's, it, it's going to be inf inferred. This is what you call inference. So if I remove the GXX, it should still infer it to GXX. Once I, once I return, put a return there. It says void because I don't have anything here. But once I put something here, I'm gonna show you. Ret um, we don't need the return because it's what we can do. ES6 one liner. Button. And then we can let's give it a class name. Button show more that's what because we want to use it to show more items and ID will be the ID um, The type is a button And on click We want an unclick action We got a callback actually There we go. And then here we have the text. So what are we returning? JSX element. So TypeScript was able to infer that. But right now it says our text is any, ID is any, action is any. That's not good. So we need to be able to create the props for that. So let's create the props, the interface. For our button text ID and action where is our interface right here so we can say export interface button props so text is a string ID is this going to be a string as well and action is going to be a function that returns void. There we go. Save it. And then we can bring it into the button. From interface. And then this is going to be our button prop. There we go, that's good. So now we can use our button anywhere. Let's go to, let's just X this. Here, we can bring our button here. There we go. And then we can use our button. Oh, now, when we want, you know, there's actually something else we can do. And since we have this inside a section, we can put, uh, you know what, let's put this inside a div. And then let's remove the class name here. Put that here. 
and then we can and then we can create a div here and then here's our button we have to pass it a text uh, show more I guess ID COVID button action so we have to create this action we haven't created it yet so right now let's just put console.log clicked there we go so boy we're gonna fix that next what we want to do is we want to so we have our button let's see all right so i'm thinking we can um all right so what when you click this button what's next so let's create that function const let's call it show more and then that's it's a callback so let's use another react hook call use callback okay and then in show more what do we want to do let's create because we want the button to when we click it we want to be able to let's you know let me see if it's going to show on the screen no it doesn't because it doesn't know what action is that's fine all right so in here let's create a, another object similar to this and then we can update that object so let's call this show more data and then we can set show more data same thing and show more data would be uh, here is here's what we're gonna do let's we're gonna pass show more here the data that we pass to the card is going to be show more data not response we're going to update response so what we're going to do here is that over here we're going to call show more data set show more data I mean and then we're going to say um, so show more data is what we pass into the card. Let's think about this. We want three data. We want three points only. So we're gonna pass provinces if it exists. Then we we'll pass provinces dot slice. How do we want to slice it from zero to three? And if that doesn't exist, empty array. That's what we want to do. So now when you click the card. When you click the card for um, show more data, we want to update it. So we want to update it when you click it. What do we, what do we want to update it to? So here's the trick. Let's just let's comment this out for now. Let's see how it's gonna look. Here we go. So we have three cards, but show more. Uh, we need to do some CSS style on the on the button, guys. That looks horrible. Okay, so let's go to the button. Okay, so let's create. What class did we give it? We said button show more. Okay. So let's give it a width of two hundred pixel. A height of about 40 pixels I use that a lot I'll give it a border radius actually no outline I don't like outlines border radius of about 10 px make the size a little huge maybe one right. 
font weight of maybe 600 background color white cursor is a pointer hmm. margin give it a little space maybe 20 pixel what else should we do let's see oh, let's give it a, let's see how this looks first nice let's give it a border color or one pixel solid maybe um cyan there we go so this doesn't do anything doesn't do anything because we haven't hooked it up yet as you can see only three cards we refresh only three cards beautiful so we need to hook it up so what what we're gonna do is we have to find a way to when we click it we update it to the next three so we can pass in an array show more data whatever show more data is let's spread it whatever it is then response remember response response has all of the cards we want to slice it slice it from what from what show more data is show to that length we want to slice it from there and then we we want to add three to it because we're going by three plus three and then whenever show more data um, changes we want to update it also whenever response so we re-rendered okay this is good so let's see what we did show more data we set it we spread the show more data and we sliced it from the previous one to plus three that's all we did so let's see okay that didn't work the way we wanted it to work something is wrong there let's see live debugging show my data response oh our response we gotta spread our response to get all of the response data okay what happened there we go there we go this is good i was worried i was like why it's not working okay this is good let's refresh again that's that's beautiful and then that's it let's um let's clean this up a little bit i think we can clean up the component part of this and we can create like an um like an index that would um that can export each file so let's go to components here so we can say index.typescript so export from let's export the the button again default as button and then we can as card Okay, that, this is good and then inside our COVID file here we will just import here from components that's it and then we will get card and button that's it everything should still work normal Okay, it's the it's the video that's causing us a lag because I'm recording, and that's it. So this is this is really good, guys. We went through a lot in ten videos. I tried to break it down as simple as possible. I, I possibly I missed some stuff, but I hope you you get the gist of how to really create a design system from when you want to create a bigger project than just this. It's the same setup.
you can we can add more to the interface if we want we can go to our data store we can add more actions here we can create more actions pass them to our create context so everything is set up where you can just add more to it in, in a, a simple way where if you have to pass this project on uh, another engineer can see it and use it easily well thank you guys very much i'll leave comments behind in the video bye bye